When I was in America, every sports bar would serve buffalo wings, which are deep fried chicken wings served in a Moorish chili and butter sauce. It is absolutely delicious. But what about all my vegetarian friends? How can they enjoy it? Well, I'm going to make it with cauliflower buffalo style. It is absolutely delicious and it's gluten free. Now we need to start a batter and I'm not going to deep fry this. I'm actually going to cook it in the oven. So half a cup of chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is a great alternative to wheat flours. It's used quite a lot in Indian cuisine. It's also called besan flour and you can get it from all of your supermarkets. I'll also add a touch of salt and just crush it between your fingers so we get small little flakes. I'm just going to make a well in the centre. And then I'm going to add a third of a cup of water. Just add a little bit at a time because it does tend to form lumps and we don't want lumps. So just slowly, slowly whisk it in. And as you can see, it starts to thicken and then we can add a little bit more. The consistency of this batter should be like a really thick pancake batter. So this is the consistency we're looking for. See how there's no lumps? And now we're ready to coat our cauliflower. So I'll take that whisk out. I'm going to add the cauliflower in and then just with your hands, this is the easiest way to do it, coat it, take off the excess and then place it onto a tray just with a bit of baking paper and then continue the process. Now this is going to roast in the oven at 160 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes but just ensure that you keep turning it and watching it so it goes evenly golden brown all over. Now my cauliflower has come out of the oven. You can see that that batter is stuck nicely to the cauliflower and it's golden on one side. It doesn't have to be golden all over as long as the cauliflower is cooked because we are going to coat it in a really rich red sauce. Now for the sauce, I've got a small saucepan on a medium heat. I'm going to add 15 grams of butter and half a cup of chili sauce. So this chili sauce has got a big kick to it, which is great for this. And the combination of the chilli sauce and butter is fantastic. You've got the spicy heat of it and then the butter is going to mellow the whole thing down. This is absolutely delicious. Into that butter. Ooh. And now things are starting to get interesting now because it smells so good. That combination is fantastic. Not only for this cauliflower combination, but just really nice over some grilled chicken too. Now I need to balance this sauce out, so we need some saltiness. I'm adding some soy sauce. So a few tablespoons of soy sauce and some sweetness. I'm adding maple syrup. And we have to add a little bit of garlic, but I'm going to mince the garlic. And we're just warming that garlic up so we still get the freshness of it. This one's a really big clove of garlic, so I might just use about three quarters of it and then scrape that in. And now with a whisk, we're just going to bring the whole sauce together. Now this will thicken up quite fast. Look at that colour. You can see how it's coating that whisk. Just like that, you know that it's ready. So it doesn't take long at all. I'm going to remove it from the heat and I'm going to add it to a large bowl. Perfect. And the cauliflower goes into the sauce. And then with a fork and spoon, I'm just going to toss it so each floret of cauliflower is coated in that red sauce. Looks so good. And now to present it, I've just got a bowl. It doesn't need much more. In America, they serve their buffalo chicken wings with uh, blue cheese ranch sauce. I think that's a bit much. It's very rich. I think there's so much flavour going on here with the soy sauce and the chilli. It doesn't need anything else. There you have it. You don't always have to have chicken. Vegetarians don't have to miss out. Try this with cauliflower. These are seriously addictive.